Hey Gemini, welcome to your general love reading for September 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody, but of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can book a personal reading, and also the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, so let's see, Gemini, what is going on for you? In September, we have balancing the scales. Okay, so this is like the justice card. So could mean a lot of things, but definitely something is coming into balance or justice is being served in some, in some way. Things seem to be making more sense for you, okay, in September. So let's get into the tarot and see what's going on here. All right, Gemini. I think that's actually like one of my favorite cards. Balancing the scales as well as justice. So let's see. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of September. All right, for the situation, okay, we have the Eight of Swords crossed by Strength. All right, so it feels like you have been trapped in a situation, possibly trapped. It doesn't have to be being trapped in a connection with somebody, although for some of you it definitely could be that, either for you or for the person you are involved with. Um, but it could be just being stuck in your head about a situation, being um, in fear about the situation. And what you're really being called to this month is to really find that strength within you in order to overcome fears, to overcome whatever is keeping you back, all right, or whatever is keeping you stuck. For the recent past, we have the Hermit. Near future, we have the High Priestess. Okay, so a lot of Major Arcana showing up for you here which is actually fitting very well with that balancing the scales card that we got. Um, it feels like there has been some withdrawal possibly in this connection. There has been some silence. For some of you, this could even be a lot of inner work, a lot of deeper soul searching, but really what I'm getting is that there has been some kind of a distance between you and another person, okay, recently. We'll see what this High Priestess is when we clarify, but I'm getting that it, this is also about, it, it, I feel like it's the continuation of this Hermit, like going from being in withdrawal, like really doing a lot of um, deep soul searching, and then just really moving towards uncovering your intuition and being able to take that intuition, whatever it is that you're feeling intuitively, and bringing it into your 3D world as well. But again, we're going to clarify and see. For your energy, we have the Knight of Swords. For them, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Manix, please don't mess up our cards. All right, more for you is the Two of Pentacles. For them, the Queen of Swords. And the potential outcome is the Star. Okay, nice. All right, Gemini. All right, let me just get Mannix to kind of sit not on the cards. All right. So for you, I feel like there's a lot of action that you are taking, and this is coming from a place of truth. All right, and it's either taking this action towards this connection or just based off of whatever the sphere is or was, if this is you. Um, I actually feel like it could be the both of you, but just in different ways. And I feel like it's definitely being a little bit of a struggle for you here. Um, you're feeling like you need to find a sense of balance, but it's coming in as like you're doing this kind of quickly. Things are a little heavy for you right now. Things are feeling maybe like you don't know if you can manage them. You don't know if you can handle so much being on your plate right now, like having to multitask or having too many things to think about and worry about but somehow some way it, it, it feels like it's it's working out for you you're moving forward you're doing it regardless for them there's a major shift that this person is going through we'll see we'll see i feel like this person is um undergoing a major transformation here something is feeling different 
we'll see. I feel like this person is having clarity, but at the same time, they might appear to be a little bit detached. No, 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 my little sweet kitty, no. All right. Let's clarify. I mean, we do have the star for the for the potential outcome, which is healing. It's wish fulfillment. It's it's a very beautiful card to get at the end of a reading. Yeah, Mannix is like, nope, this is mine. <laughs> this is my desk. These are my cards. No, they are not your cards. All right, we'll have to work around him somehow. All right, so let's clarify the Eight of Swords with strength. We have the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and and <laughs> Strength again. This is a new deck, so I can sometimes get a little stuck um, when it comes to figuring out what card it is. So, Strength showing up for a second time, all right? Some of you might be dealing with Leo or somebody who has strong Leo in their charts, or maybe you have strong Leo in your charts. Um, this is this is definitely a situation where there has been, I feel, a lot of confusion, and at the moment there is still confusion. Um, having both the Two of Wands as well as the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of uncertainties here. You don't know which way things are going to go. I feel like you might not even be sure which what you're supposed to be doing. You're not sure what the other person is really doing. There's a lot of confusion here, and I feel like this is what is making you um, a little bit more stuck in your headspace, and I feel like that's creating some anxiety for you, and it's creating possibly some a little bit of fear, all right? Definitely the rules can be reversed. This could be your person if it's not you. I kind of feel like this is you and that it could also be your person. I feel like there's just a lot of confusion for the both of you at the moment and that both of you are either having some decisions to make here and being having some dilemmas possibly about each other or about the connection or about other things in your life that in some way relate to this connection. All right, but I love that we have strength showing up here again, all right, because it was the challenge, right, in the main energy, but it's showing up here showing that you are both getting stronger through this, all right, through whatever these dilemmas are, through whatever um, this confusion is, this not knowing, it, it just feels like things are just really up in the air. So this is all about conquering your fears. All right, let's see for your energy we had, okay, thank you, Mannix, the Knight of Swords. Let's see the Knight of Swords for you. All right, the Six of Cups, the Magician, and the Hanged Man. All right, let me just fix these a little bit because he completely messed them up. All right. All right, this is interesting that we have both the Magician and the Hanged Man. Um, like I said, you are taking action, and I feel like it might feel to you like things are not really going anywhere. Um, there's a lot of thinking about the past here. I feel like you have nostalgia for the way things used to be in this connection. Um, with this person thinking a lot about them. And this could be something also that makes you feel like you're stuck, but at the same time, I feel like you don't even realize it, right? You're this magician here. You, Like I said with the High Priestess, you are manifesting things into your 3D world. You are taking action. You are moving forward in whatever way that you are meant to, okay? So this is Again, it's a general reading, so I can't get into specifics here. It's going to be different for everybody. But there is something that you are moving towards. And it's something to do with this person. It's related, okay, to this connection in some way. It doesn't mean you're moving towards this person necessarily, but you are moving on your right path, which is creating a reality for yourself that you want. But it feels at the moment like it's not really getting anywhere, and that's okay. Okay, the only reason why you feel that is because you're still thinking about this person possibly. All right, or you're still thinking about something from the past. Um, yeah, Mannix is, I thought he was done <laughs> from distracting us, but apparently he's not. Next time I will, 
I might have to get him out of the room and just have him be scratching at the door. Let me move on. Let me see this Two of Pentacles. Right, and you have the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. Oh, okay, I see. So you are trying to move away from a connection here. All right, may or may not be the same one um, that we we're talking about in the beginning here, okay, because I know that for, for many of my viewers, there tend to be a lot of third party situations, or maybe there's just. Um, not even third party, but there could be multiple people that are involved in your life. Somebody coming back from the past, for example, whatever, or some, it, it doesn't matter. You are trying to move away from a connection here, which it's either family or it just felt like there was a very, very strong bond. All right. Something felt very secure. Something um, felt very comfortable, possibly. And having to do that moving away from this is something that is proving to be a little bit challenging for you and again like i said you know you are doing it you you might feel like things are not moving forward in whatever else that you're trying to do but they are so for your person here let's clarify the wheel of fortune which is under under manix here And we have the world, the world, the Hierophant, and the star. Showing up again here. Okay, nice. So your person here, they're going through a huge transformation, um, which is involving closing out some kind of a cycle. Whatever the cycle is, it was something I feel very, very um, big something huge, something like, okay, so it could be a marriage, for example, it could be a business, it could be um, a very, very strong belief, a culture, like changing religion even, okay, there's a huge transformation, a huge closing out of a cycle here when it comes to something that, that felt like it would never change, whatever that is. And whatever this is, it's actually moving them towards something very beautiful. It's moving them towards healing. It's moving them towards um, their, their alignment. It's moving them towards their own wish, wish fulfillment and what it is that truly makes them happy. This is them listening to their higher self big time. That is really powerful, whatever this person is going through. A major, major cycle is being closed for them. I feel like it's like one of those really big um, milestones in life. Let's see the Queen of Swords. The King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, okay, so that's clarifying the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so your person, as they're going through this, um, I feel like they're actually very, very determined here. There's a lot of determination for them to put in the hard work for whatever it is that they're doing. So like I said, they might be coming off as a little bit distant. I'm also kind of getting that with the um, High Priestess, and I feel like I said, you know, I feel like the connection between the two of you um, has been a little distant, even from um, the past. And I do feel like it's continuing on in that way. But like I said, you know, you're you're taking major steps here, moving in a direction that is going to be for your highest good. It's bringing things into balance. I actually feel like this is the both of you aligning. Like each of you is aligning with your own higher selves for what it is that you are meant to be doing. And by doing so, you are also aligning with each other in a way that is also um, just very healing. It's very beautiful. So whatever that is, you know, karma is also being balanced out here. Take that as it resonates. Um, if this is somebody you feel like you are done with, you know, fine. It, it doesn't negate what I just said. Um, it could still be the case and then you just both move in, in your own separate ways, but at a soul level, like you're still in that alignment, right, of things having a successful conclusion. If not, right, if you feel like this is a connection you don't want to be over, I don't feel like it is for you because I see the both of you getting what it is that you want. 
here, all right? Especially having the stars, the final um, card in this reading. All right, this person is just hard at work at the moment, closing out that huge, huge cycle. And so I feel like they are kind of um, just really focused on that, really focused on that, and, and that's why there's this distance at the moment. So let's see the High Priestess, which is the near future here. All right, and we have the Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. There's, um, somebody is really coming to terms with the fact that, you know what, when it comes to something that I've been holding on to, something that I've been having in my, in my 3D life, something, um, that might appear to be successful or enjoyable on the surface, it's not. It. It, cre it, it creates a sense of loss. And I feel like that's what this High Priestess is about. It's like this deep, deep, deep understanding and really following one's own intuition when it comes to moving in a direction of really finding what it is that will bring true stability, but not only stability, also um, a wish fulfillment, also true happiness, all right? And sometimes that comes with losing something else, having to sacrifice something else, having to face some kind of some kind of a loss, whether that be financial or whether that be emotional or both. And that's this balancing the scales as well, right? Um, things need to have a balance. Sometimes it can't just be just all positive. Like we can't always just have everything in exactly the way that we would want, sometimes we need to trade something off. And that's not to sound pessimistic. That's not at all how I mean it, but that's just, you know, how it is. Sometimes in order to have a new beginning, you want to gain, you know, um, this, this, and this, you might have to let go of something else. And that's exactly what I'm getting here, whatever that is. So let's see the star. For the potential outcome here, all right, we have the Empress. Let's see what else. And the Moon. Yeah, okay, so this is a lot of abundance here. This is a lot of abundance. This is getting to that point where you feel like you have everything you could possibly want. You're feeling awesome about yourself. Um, even when it comes to this connection, I feel like things are just going exactly in the way that you would want them to. All right. However, having the moon here, this is something that is still not revealed to you. All right. It's happening in a way where I feel like it's being, it's being hidden because you're working on your, your stuff, your life right? Um, whatever that is for you. And then your person is working on closing out this huge cycle, which is what they need to be doing. And that is leading to the star. All right. Um, it's just not, you cannot see it. It's being hidden at the moment and that's okay. I feel like that is like a major lesson here is that you don't need to know everything that is, that is going on and how everything is working out in your favor, but it is. All right, Gemini, so let's see the final message for you, if this resonated, and please give me a thumbs up if it did. Yeah, so Manix decided to leave us alone right at the end of your reading. All right. Okay. So we got three, so you know what, I'm just gonna show you all three of them. We have the North Node, step out of your comfort zone. And I feel like, yeah, that's definitely something that you both are being called to do at the moment. Um, we have the Full Moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming, yes. And the New Moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. So I'm not going to explain what these mean. Um, you can take them as they resonate. I hardly ever get three cards. I usually just get one. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like, 
I feel like September is going to be a very significant month for Gemini. So I'm leaving it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching and much love.